champions so i got a lot more information for you for invasion information pictures and video of how it's going on so let's get on with it first up we're gonna read on the basically info of the invasion so if i read you what i got so the invasion scoring the way it's gonna work beat defenders take over entire cities get multiplier points for taking over clusters of city points are based on first second and third faction in a battle obviously there's three faction in a battle so they're all gonna get some points there more league points awarded for having a higher overall roster team talent there's gonna be leagues which is a new exclusive feature for invasions a new prizing structure that count all faction do over multiple invasions big prizes in the end uh, league can be month long bi-weekly etc and can change depending on special events or based on player feedbacks that's pretty cool multiple invasion are going to come toward basically a big league which sounds like a season uh, league rankings legion league resets course to 32,000 at the end of the season the factions will need to work to reacquire legend status at the beginning of each new league so that means once that league is over you're starting down the bottom of the ladder again you don't keep score for previous achievements many faction can fit in lower leagues but only a limited number in leagues in legend league prizes leagues will offer large rewards individual invasions will also grant a variety of rewards cool seasons length details and pricing can change some invasions may apply points to special live events and or not contribute to a season Exclusive faction invasion events that run outside the normal cadence is possible. Single Q, new exclusive to faction invasions. Faction can choose to have teams open to allow additional team members to join on a solo basis. Single player can select to join teams of similar strength to themselves. So that answers those that were worried they only had two stars, you'll still be able to participate. Matchmaking will have a cooldown to prevent solo players from spamming, joining and rejecting. Thank God for that. Solo players earn league points of whichever faction they participate that wins that invasion. Those points are contributed toward their own factions. Solo players can queue up with other factions if their teammates are asleep or if their faction has a limited number of players. So that is pretty cool, uh, especially for faction that don't necessarily have a hundred player or that don't have or actually have problem getting feud starting. So in this case, you'll be able to queue with other factions that have points available and you'll be contributing to your own faction. That's pretty cool. Captain Powers, which is again a new exclusive feature for invasions. Captains can kick individuals and they can remove superstars from nodes. So that is it for the new information as far as the text goes. Now let's look at those pictures. So the first one you see on screen, Invasion, team up with your friends and square off in a massive three-way battle against teams from two opposing factions. Earn points for taking cities your enemy control. Defend your territory with powerful superstars and the team with the highest score at the end wins. Win multiple invasion to place in the league. So this looks like the info or loading screen. Well, yeah, more, more the info screen that we're gonna see in game. Invasions rule, well, this one is missing the text. But we see the screen on the top, preparation, battle, reward. Preparation phase, form a team with your faction mate or join up solo. Then set defenses on your starting cities before battle begins. Any faction can form a team of 15 to 25 to complete. compete. Open your team to solo so solo players can fill it out. Assign superstars to protect your cities from attack. 
and defenders can't attack cities so choose wisely so again the guy that you're gonna set on defense you can't attack with so choose wisely and this also shows that the fact that solo players can join randoms uh, or actually other teams to earn points invasion rules this one is missing text again Again, oh, we see there's a timer there in which you probably can spam to try to get 20 minutes. Invasion points. At the end of the invasion, the team with the most invasion points wins and claim their place on the league leaderboard. Your team gets 20 points for every match win. Your team gets 100 points for beating a node. Your team gets 3000 points for capturing a city and take key cities and zones to multiply your gains. Another screen that doesn't have text. League. Earn league points to advance your faction through the leagues to legendary and earn prizes at the end of each season. Get points based on placement and city held. Points scale with the total talent of your team. Each player takes home a share of for their faction. Points accumulate with each invasion played. Factions in gold uh, gold one plus reset to thirty two thousand each season, and prize are determined determined by league and placement. Totally butchered that word. <laughs> okay, what else we got? Loading screen there. Superstars on invasion defense will not be available for offense until they are defeated. You will still be able to use them in other game modes. All right, okay, so I I thought the initial info we had stated otherwise, but it seems your those superstar that you use on defense, you just won't be able to use them on offense for that mode. You will still be able to use them for everything else. So that's pretty cool. Battle phase. Invade enemy cities and claim them for your team. Securing group of cities to gain powerful score multipliers. You can attack any city adjacent to your territory. Fight your way to the final node to take over. Defenders heal a bit after a match. Okay, nice. Make it count. Victorious attackers defend the nodes they beat. And fallen defenders become available after a delay. Okay, so you, they're not totally lost, they come back after a while. Okay, now let's see a video of the invasions in action. So this is a completed match that was victorious, giving uh, 1,080 points. Let's see what else we see. I'll try to pause the video when we see something interesting. All right, so... This looks like it looks like a regular node from a, a limited tour. So there you set your guys. It's taking edge and IRS. You see their damage there. Okay, so that says if you win, the superstar will become a defender and not be available for further battles. Okay, so it looks like Whichever guys you use to attack a node, if you win, he stays there and he becomes a defender. All right, so definitely that's going to make you use a lot of guys from your roster. All right, so the match is loading right now. I'm curious to see if it's a different type of match or if it's a regular match five like the usual matches we have. They also have some load time. This is obviously a video. It's not my video. It comes directly from Scopely. Looks like they are facing the red ring on their developer version as well. So Edge and RS versus Ziggler and Big Show. 
Believe it or not, I actually never used Edge, so I don't even know his moves. I'm curious to see what they're going to do. Big boot. So far, it's going great for Edge. This should, yeah, it's going to be done. All right. That's another win. Let's see what happens after that. So matches are the usual way. Oh, loot bonus. John. Okay, that's the regular. That tells you you get bonus if you're a VIP. All right, so that's again like the previous match. It's a thousand eighty points invasion points for the win. Regular loot. You see defense shows a total score of sixty k on the bottom right. back to the game okay that's nothing on that so New Orleans is being contested takeover in 9.5 uh, 9.25 minutes so looks like once you basically win the match it becomes a contested area I'm guessing for them to try to take it back Looks like those three were defeated, if I guess what the X's are for. Well, actually all of them. Okay, so it looks like maybe you probably need to win the previous nodes to get the final one that is the city. So probably a couple matches before you get to the last one. I'm actually curious if your L3 gen between the match or you got to keep the same L though. Uh, probably because I think when the edge match started, he was full HP anyway. So this is basically what you'll be getting when you click the city I guess shows you if there's current defender if there's a multiplier and the points you see again different one there if I stop with a bunch of minutes before you can take over this looks freaking amazing I really like that stuff well I guess I will like it looks pretty cool Alright, so let's see again that. I'm going to see something else. Alright, so you see all the different nodes there. Alright, so that's it. That's the video we're starting. So, that is pretty much it for this preview. Hopefully, we'll be getting more info. Again, this is coming very soon into the game. I don't have a specific day game, a specific date that they gave me, obviously, but it seems like it's probably under a month i would guess to see it probably before SummerSlam. Uh, obviously i would guess they also have stuff planned for SummerSlam. i don't know if this is going to be part of it or not but it should be really soon so hopefully you enjoy this uh, let's continue to speculate on it as we get more details every week in the meantime if you are not already a sub on my channel make sure to do so to be kept away when i post new stuff if you have any comments leave them and if you like the video, leave a like. See you guys. G out. Ciao.